Tinig ba yung mga ibon? Or are they too far away from me? Well, dinig yung phone. <laughs> yeah, it's a very peaceful front lawn. It's just nice to chill out in here. Quiet village. Considering it's right next to C5. That's impressive. This is impressive. It's very quiet, very tranquil. Um, it's being in the middle of a hustling and bustling city. You should check out the rest of the house. around a property for sale in St. Ignatius Village, Quezon City. But first, make sure you hit like, click subscribe, and click on the bell so you get notified for whenever we release new YouTube videos. We're on Facebook, so make sure you hit like and see first, and follow us on Instagram at Priscello underscore official. My name is Julia, and welcome to another Priscello open house tour. So from your hilly road, you have a view of this house, and it is such a charming facade. Right? How often do you come across a house that looks like this with the red bricks and iron? <laughs> I love it! So on the left of your property facing it, you have a garage or a driveway that goes down to the garage. Now you can actually close that. It is, again, a proper garage, not just a car port. And then over here we have the pedestrian gate. So this is where we are going to go through. And the first thing that will welcome you is this adorable set of stairs stone stairs so as you climb up you'll then see more details of your main entrance it's kind of like entering a secret garden right so this is your main entrance you have a gate to the left and then a pathway to the right so let's check this one out first so you have a garden on this level so you have a small gate over there as well again to the perimeter of your property but yeah this is your front lawn so you can just sit here and take in just how quiet this village is sakto lang kung kailan nagfi-film kami may wang wang <laughs> there's an emergency somewhere and then over here on the left side above your garage we have a lanai it's such a romantic lanai look at that ceiling you can see the trusses you can see the shape of your roof you have string lights super romantic especially at night and then at the end of it you have a koi garden yeah did i say garden koi pond zen garden koi pond <laughs> and oh look at them they're so colorful and they're different ages too and it's also nice to hear the water. Right. And here you have a set of stairs going to the lower level, which we will get to in a bit. But for now, let's go to the through the main entrance. So this is what the gate looks like. It's a sliding gate. So again, very romantic iron gate. Okay. Let's go inside. You have dramatic double doors. And here is what will welcome you. So this is your foyer, and from here you can either go down the stairs or straight on. So that's what we're gonna do. Walking here, you'll see another set of, or another door, and this one will lead you back out into your lanai. Again, 
you have a screen door, but the grill is just as romantic as the rest of the ironwork in the house. Shampoo consistency. You have a spiral staircase over here that leads to your attic, currently being used as storage. In fact, a lot of the rooms here or areas are being used as storage, so we might not be able to explore those as much. But yes, you have an attic over there above the master bedroom. And this is your master bedroom. So you have a ton of space. You've got crown moldings on your ceiling, intricate design, but still a little bit modern. It's not, uh, it's not Renaissance or anything, it's still modern, but an interpretation of that kind of romantic design. Here we have a window, again with the grills, and because it's open right now, you can hear the waterworks, and it's just so soothing to the ears. Okay, so you have your space over there. On this side, you have your entertainment and a mini bar. I mean, why not have a mini bar inside your master bedroom, right? Then through here, we have a wardrobe, a walk-in closet. We have a lot of storage space. And then here, we have the master ensuite, toilet and bath. With your water closet, your bathtub, your sink, lots of counter space, shower space, and a sauna. This will lead to the back of the house. But this is your toilet and bath. It's huge. It's like a it's like a room already, right? The difference among the entire house in Bahay, ang lalaki ng toilet and bath. Okay. Actually, even the door is quite wide. Right. So you have ar arches over here, made out of the red bricks, and then you can see more of the exposed trusses. Okay, now to go down the main stairs, which is pretty much a grand staircase. Oh, Toritoloi, okay. <laughs> All right, so one floor down, and we are in the living area. So it's a huge space, vertically as well, super high ceiling, right? That's where the chandelier is. It's very high. And then you have here, although there are curtains right now, like this entire thing is just window space, fixed. So it lets in a lot of natural light. Again, it's just the curtains are closed, but, and it's not sunny. But if it were, whew, this area is going to be flooded with sunlight. Wait, hold on. Let me explain this one first. <laughs> so living area, and conveniently, you have a bar in this corner. So if ever you were entertaining guests, right? Have them sit on the sit in the living room and then entertain them with drinks, like uh, orange juice. And then over here, we have a door that one will lead you back to the garage. Okay. So that door, which could also be treated as a main entrance, it's really up to you how you let your guests in, right? But that's also going to lead you to lead you to the garage. But well, we're not gonna go through there yet. So we'll go through here first. This enclosed area is your dining and kitchen. So you have a lot of space for your dining table, dining set. You have some shelving and then windows over here. Shepherd marinating air conditioning units. And here you have a bar or a nook. You have a breakfast nook. Your L-shaped counter, again, lots of storage, and then an island bar. <laughs> Can't say it's a counter, but it could be. It's a two. What do you want to do with it? And then over here, we're just gonna show you real quick. They have personal items in here, but this is your daily kitchen. So you might want to see just, just a quick glance how big the space is. But we're not gonna go through there. As you can see, there's also a CCTV system and the monitor is right there. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> okay. So just to show you, again, this is the door that leads to the, car uh, to the garage. Over here, we have 
a toilet and bath. So this is the toilet and bath that the guests are gonna use when they're coming from the living area. And what did I say? It's pretty, it's huge, right? <laughs> Unlike, I mean, it, it's just, houses then had really, like, really put emphasis on how big the toilet should be. Okay, so before we head down, yes, there's another level down. Let's go out this other main entrance. It's a solid wooden door, and then again, you have the screen door with the iron work. This one is sliding, by the way. And that is another pedestrian gate. So the one we entered was more of an outdoor pedestrian gate. This one is a little bit more private, if that makes sense. It's right next to your garage door. So you have a really long vehicle here right now. Like it's insanely long, but you can fit, what, two vehicles? Four vehicles here, depending on what kind of vehicle you have. So you have a very lovely garage in here. You have some, again, ceiling design, some uh, moldings. And then your floor is a solid terracotta. So these are really, really sturdy. And from here, you can see that we have, again, a set of stairs. So if you go up here, you will be led to the lanai, and then another set of stairs going down, but we're not gonna go through that. And here we have a beautiful archway, or arcway, and this will lead you to your laundry area. And then there's also a door here that'll lead you back to the daily kitchen. Okay, so let's go back in and go down the main staircase. You have another view of this area. Also notice how nice the tiles are in the living area. It's a nice dark brown, very dramatic. Fashion parquet, pero tiles. Maganda. Okay, let's go down. The spiral, the grand spiral staircase. And here you have the more private rooms, or at least semi-private rooms, because the first door you will see, which has glass panels in them, is the conference room. So this is also the office, what have you. It's up to you how, what you want to turn it into. It could be a streaming room for all you know, right? It could be your classroom, especially for classes these days, right? So it's a huge room meant to be an office. Okay. So, we can't really open most of the doors here. So I'm just gonna name them. <laughs> so this is storage. Okay, this is storage. And then this is bedroom number two. And this one has an ensuite, toilet, and bath. Room next to it, so you can only imagine just how big this room is, right? Because this one is storage. So it's not another room, it's just storage. So basically most of this is bedroom number two. Over here we have a toilet and bath. Common for the rooms in, uh, for some of the rooms here that do not have an ensuite. And then here, these two rooms. This one is bedroom number three with out an ensuite. And this is bedroom number four with an ensuite, toilet and bath. Okay, and then here we have a screen door. Well, there's a, it has a solid wooden door, but then it also has a screen door. And when you go out, this is the service or the uh, staff area. So that's the stairs that you saw from the garage. So when you go down here, <laughs> when you go down here, you have like an open space and then the staff quarter. So these two are staff rooms. They have their own sink built-in sink, and then that is their toilet and bath. And then from here, you have another level down. So let's check it out. So currently they have their items stored on this level, but it's just one massive Massive space. Look at that. It makes the pool table look so small. That is a pool table, right? 
And then the two rooms at the end, the ones that you see there, one is a shower room and one is a comfort room or a powder room. So yeah, you have this massive, massive space. Just imagine what you could do with this. So yeah, like the possibilities with this house, with this property, it's limitless. You can do whatever it is that you want with it. The layout is interesting. Hmm. I guess that means it's time for a recap. It's a bus. Okay. Okay, finally in the Lanai area, the top of this set of stairs. Okay, so you have 474 square meters of lot area and 500 square meters of floor area spread over four different levels. You have five bedrooms, five toilet and baths, and a four vehicle garage, a properly enclosed garage. You have a lanai here, a front garden or a lawn, you could say, a, a nice and cozy one, <laughs> a service area, a staff area, and that lower level, that's just massive space. Like, just imagine what you could do with that space. And all of this is in a property for sale inside St. Ignatius Village, Quezon City. So if you or someone you know is interested in a place like this, send this video to them. Or if you want to see it for yourself, send us a message. Or go to our website at www.presello.com. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with Presello. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure you click here. And if you want to see more house tour videos, click right here. And we also have this new thing called Working Lunch with Priscilla, where I and a few random people talk about a few random things related to uh, real estate. So if you want to join in on the conversation, make sure you click right here. <laughs>